Hi everyone. We are officially at the end of our countdown to New Year's. It is day number one. It's go time. It's New Year's Eve. We've got about five minutes before it is 12 o'clock midnight here in Minnesota. And I am so glad that you guys are here to help me ring in the new year. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy, and it's almost time to say Happy New Year. We've got a few minutes to go. I thought I would get this open and get it poured in my glass before it was midnight so that I can toast in the New Year's with you. So I don't have my champagne flute today, but I have got my New Year's martini glass because I just love this glass to use for New Year's. And of course I got this open so far and it's a regular cork for champagne. So, wish me luck on getting this open. I have got, oh, about a minute to go before New Year's happens. So, I hope everyone is celebrating and maybe, I know sometimes it's hard to stay up to midnight. The older we get, it's like when you're young, you just, oh my God, my family's up and I could go to bed and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, you're the adult and it's like your kids are up and you just want to go to sleep. So, anyway, we are probably going to hear some fireworks. We've had a couple going off already. The town um, on either side of us is doing fireworks. I don't think my hometown is, but I can hear them go off every now and then, just little ones. I'm assuming that we might have... This is going to be hard to open. I should have grabbed another bottle. But, um, yeah, so I'm assuming that probably at midnight there's going to be a lot of noise around here. I'm sure Mr. Griffin is not going to be happy. So I'm kind of glad he went home because otherwise he would be would have been going crazy with the fireworks that have been going off. And then, of course, there's like, you know, little ones in the neighborhood here and there going off. And I am so sorry. I cannot get this cork out. I did not plan on this. I thought it was going to be another twist off. Oops, here it comes. Ready? Here we go. And we are on the countdown. So we've got like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty, so it's almost like I had that time perfectly, but I was getting a little nervous right there. Alrighty, so just gonna pour some in here. There we go. So if you are up, you watch this later. I wish you best health. Best happiness and the warmest wishes for 2024. You guys are awesome, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Cheers, everyone. Happy, happy new year. Mm. This one's a really, really dry champagne. It's so I'm really good, though, if you like dry champagne. And sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But tonight I do. Cheers. And I'm going to put this on top of my box here. I'm not sure if you can see it. But this was a sparkling wine advent calendar. It came with 12 of those little bottles of sparkling wine that we're going to call champagne because it just sounds so much fun, or doesn't it? And this was from GiveThemBeer.com. Um, I've done this one for the last two years and really, really enjoying it. And, um, yeah, I've got my cheesecake right here. So I had my filet mignon dinner. I got it from the butcher at Coburn. So it's a nice, thick piece. It was already wrapped in bacon, so I just kind of broiled that. So, so good. I had some leftover vegetables that we didn't cook that were still frozen. So I cooked some of those, put them in there. And a little bit of rice pilaf. I was good to go. And I saved my cheesecake. That with you guys. 
and it was like a little four pack of their cheesecake and I just put some caramel topping on top of it so cheers everyone mmm nice and rich love it alrighty and the champagne or sparkling wine that I have is Mama Napa and looks like something traditional root prestige let's see if we can see where it's from so it says our signature sparkling wine elevates any occasion from special to spontaneous excellent aroma of stone fruit and vanilla with hints of toast and honey it says balance bright light flavors of citrus green apple and pear crafted for a luscious creamy texture versatile brute brute prestige makes any gathering or meal memorable I'm trying to see where it's from Napa California alrighty so anyway just going to kind of keep this one kind of light um, so I thought I would do my book of the month club because I didn't do the one for November and I've already ordered my one for January they'll let you order today so I've got two books coming in January so I thought I would do my book of the month from December but I thought I would do it different than I usually do just to kind of keep it moving along so that you guys aren't here all day so you can either if you're watching this New Year's Day you can get back to napping or I know some people put put away all their Christmas decorations on New Year's Day we always did that growing up here I just do it whenever a little bit here a little bit there you know what I mean alrighty so book of the month club it is $15.99 a month uh, for a book you can skip any time you can pause so if you you're just way behind on reading or you know you've got some expenses coming up you can put it on hold indefinitely you can also cancel online easy enough if you want to again it's $15.99 if you use uh, my code I'll have below I believe your first book would be five dollars after that it's $15.99 shipping is free but you do have sales tax that you pay on that for whatever your state and location is your county um, if you get an additional book in the same box it's 10 goes down to ten dollars and 99 cents again the shipping is included and you would just pay the additional sales tax so sometimes even though I'm behind on my reading I like to get two books because then I know I'm saving at least the five dollars and 99 cents uh, the five dollars anyway to get an additional book in my box so usually you get between five and seven picks that they pick for you for the month uh, from different genres and you get to pick one of course if nothing appeals to you you can always skip the month and sometimes when you go to skip they will offer you some other suggestions as well so anyway this month we got historical fiction a fantasy book a romance short stories which I've never seen a short story collection from them and a thriller so you know this was a hard one for me alrighty so the first book that they have is and the first book was a historical fiction and it's called the storm we made and I'm just going to do the quick take on the book I'm not going to do the synopsis but I will put a picture of each book in between and a little bit about it uh, so anyway the quick take on this book is it's a part family drama part war epic this harrowing emotionally riveting debut depicts the havoc wreaked in World War II Malaya and this next one it's a fantasy but it's kind of like a Christmas book I'm not sure why I didn't pick this one I may go back and get this at another time if anyone else got this book I would love to hear your take on it so it was the kingdom of sweets by Erica Johansson and it says buckle up for a dark and strange ride though this wicked rewrite of the nutcracker has a couple surprises up its sleeves and this next one is a romance and it's winter in New York by Josie Silver it's a delicious rom-com that has all the right ingredients secret family recipes 
holiday vibes and a big pinch of love. And this next collection was the one of the short stories, which I've never seen them before, but it's obviously been, been a choice before. And it's called Tomb Sweeping, Yearly Look Back. And it says, once a year, we break our own rules and share a book from earlier in the year that wowed us. And it's by Alexandra Che. And it's brimming with warmth and vibrancy. This beautiful debut collection of stories asks sharp questions about modern life. Alrighty, and for the one I chose, I chose the thriller. And it's No One Can Know. Let me hold up the book on this one. No One Can Know by Kate Alice Marshall. And it looks like a big house, nice family mansion right there. And look, it looks like something shattered on top. Alrighty. So the quick take on this, it's small town secrets and family tensions are unleashed when a married couple moves into an old home with a bloody past. And instead of reading the synopsis, I just took a part of the book. That looks like it's going to be interesting. So Emma, then, she looks at the body of her mother sprawled in the hallway. If she turns her head, she will see her father slumped in his chair by the fireplace in the next room, one fingertip still touching the side of the glass in which his whiskey, the ice, long melted, still sits. She looks down at her hands to see if there is any spot or smear of blood, but they are clean. She turns to her sisters. They stand apart from each other. She picks out details, the blood drying on the cuffs of the soft pajama bottoms, the wet hair hanging in stringy clumps, the hands rubbing together as if trying to get clean. She starts to speak falters. She wets her lips and tries again. This is what we're going to do, she says. And then when she tells them, they don't argue. They don't say anything. They simply obey. 23 minutes later, she picks up the phone from the kitchen counter and dials. When the emergency operator answers, she speaks in a level voice. My name is is Emma Palmer. Our parents are dead. We need the police. She looks at the clock on the stove. It's 5.13 a.m. She hangs up. They walk together to the porch and wait. When the cruiser pulls up front, they are still standing there. The lights flash over them. Red, blue, red, blue hair dry, faces each of numb shock, dressed in clean clothes. There will be no blood found on them, no bloody clothes found anywhere on the property. None of them look at the others. None of them reach out for comfort, for reassurance, or offer it in turn. They are each in a world of their own. Emma holds a hundred questions between her teeth, biting down until her jaw aches. She doesn't ask, will never ask. It isn't that she's afraid of the answers. She's afraid she already knows them. Our parents are dead, she says again to no one in particular. It's the last true thing she says in a long time. Alrighty, so how could I not pick that one? I love a good thriller. I love trying to figure out exactly what's happening. She doesn't have blood on her, but her sisters do. But she's the one talking, so I'm not sure what's going on with this book. But it sounds like it's something I'm going to get into. It's something I'm going to love. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for sharing part of your New Year's Eve with me. I've got my cheesecake left over from dessert and I got three other pieces because I didn't go into it yet 
I have got my sparkling wine here from Napa, California. I've got it in my Lolita martini glass, but it's the New York skyline. It says Happy New Year, and we've got the ball that drops on New Year's. So anyway, cheers, everyone. Best wishes for a happy and healthy New Year. Thanks so much for being here with me and ringing in the New Year and sharing my videos and watching and commenting and liking. You guys are amazing, and I love you guys so much. And thank you from the bottom of my heart. Happy New Year, everyone. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much, and we will see you tomorrow for New Year's Day. Bye-bye.